Today is March 15th, also known as the Ides of March, most famously captured in Julius Caesar, that tragic play from Shakespeare, when Julius is warned to beware the Ides of March because it was then, on March 15th, that he would be assassinated. This year, March 15th marks a full year since closures and restrictions and limitations have come about because of COVID. We have been plagued by the challenges of this virus, this global pandemic. It has caused difficulty, challenges, sufferings, losses of jobs, loss of loved ones. It has made us reprioritize what matters most, and it has most assuredly made us remember that our churches are to be open and to be available to the faithful, and that the sacraments are essential. There have been many challenges, yes, this past year, but there have also been many blessings. God can always, always bring blessings out of the challenges that this life brings to us. We see that most powerfully, most potently on the cross because God brings eternal life out of the death of his son. He brings glory out of tragedy. He brings joy out of suffering. Saints of the making, this is a perfect day to reflect on the past year. What have the challenges been? But also to consider what have the joys been? Where have been the blessings in this past year? What have we experienced? What have we seen? How have we grown? What has become more important to us? What have we put aside that has not fulfilled us truly? And what have we embraced that allows us to grow to full human flourishing? How have we grown to love and serve God more? How have we grown to love and to serve our neighbor more? What have been the signs of God's grace in our lives this year? My dear friends of Christ, spend the whole day and I guarantee you, you will not be able to finish the day without being able to continue into the next day with continual graces. There are so very many that our Lord has given to us. Consider what some of those might very well be. And then thank God. Thank God that he has given you this year to make space for grace.